Hi, I'm Dad. Hi, I'm Chloe. This, this is, is Slate 3, Take 2. I'm like, what's my name all of a sudden? <laughs> so War Studies is actually one of the only university departments to be solely dedicated to the study of war in the world. So whilst we're taught by experts, there's also a range of formats that teaching takes place in. So as well as lectures and seminars, there's also simulations, group discussions, and numerous online resources. So in the Department of War Studies, you have the International Relations degree, which is less war focused and more looking at international politics. Um, you also have the Joint Honours War Studies and History. Uh, I normally describe IR as being a mix of theory practices, history, economics and then also study of the contemporary world around us. So we look at global politics through different events and activities. So War Studies understands war through a multilateral lens, looking at why it happens, how people experience it and of course the strategic element of war. I love how diverse IR can be. Um, you kind of get the rigid ways of studying it, but there's also so much diversity and freedom to pursue what you want to study. So for instance, I wrote my dissertation on political cartoons, which seems completely random and out there, but it was something that was really supported by the department to kind of pursue. I think King's is really set apart in its standards of education because the staff body is so diverse and that they're uh, leading different bits of research all the time. They're always uh, exploring their own kind of avenues as well as dedicating their time to teaching you. I also think the staff are really open and really um, available for discussion and support for their students as well. So you get that kind of personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, help if you do need it too. So International Relations is part of the War Studies department and we work closely with the War Studies undergraduate degree as well. There are some key differences between the two courses but within the second and third year we do have the option to share modules so they're very closely related in that kind of sense. So first year is split into four kind of broad topics that fall under theory, economics, history and then the more contemporary security and conflict side of practices. So second year gives you uh, much more choice in your range of modules that you can pick. Um, for instance, I really liked the history aspect of first year, so I then went on to pick modules that let me explore topics like empire, and imperialism, history of the Middle East. So third year, you get kind of ultimate freedom to explore what you want to. Um, you get to pick your modules and your dissertation title, so you get a massive choice. So in the first year, it's mainly setting the groundwork for how to approach studying war. So whilst you look at that, you look at what causes war, how people experience it and how it's conducted, laying the groundwork for the rest of your degree. In the second year, you do get a bit more choice in what you want to study, so you can really tailor your degree to what you're interested in. So I've tailored my degree, as I'm in my second year now, to things more related to the philosophy of war and the ethics of it. In your third year, you do your dissertation, which can be on a range of topics. As war studies is multidisciplinary, you have a lot of scope in what you choose to research, but alongside this you also have some optional modules to either complement your dissertation or to focus on other things you're interested in. Yeah, absolutely. I'm very supported by the department and um, there's also two new initiatives um, happening this year. So there's a peer mentor scheme which will allocate new uh, first year BA students with a peer mentor in groups of five or six. So you have small group discussions throughout the first year um, and we'll go through, you know, just coming to university can be a massive change for some people and learning new things and meeting new people so that would just be a support system for that. Personally I feel like I have a good relationship because I was suddenly around these academics with amazing experience and research and I felt really intimidated approaching them but now I'm in second year and I've had my first year experience I feel very supportive by the King's staffs particularly in the Department of War Studies. I'm able to go see my personal tutor for example and just discuss anything that I'm interested in and I feel quite lucky to have that experience to be able to have a one-to-one -one conversation with someone who's researched so well into this. So when I graduate I will have a Bachelor of Arts degree. For me personally it gives me quite a lot of range and it gives me a lot of opportunity to explore. I'm currently considering postgraduate study, again seeing how my second year goes, seeing what I'm interested in, what I engage with. So typically War Studies has a range of careers, this can include political and financial analysis, journalism, political work like the civil service, 
um, or diplomatic work and humanitarian work. So careers is always something that people ask about for international relations and the list is kind of endless. You can go into policy or you know, international institutions, but people also pursue law, journalism, um, heritage and museums. People stay in research and go into teaching, but there really is a, a massive range of subjects that you can go into afterwards. So being in the heart of London has definitely enhanced my university experience um, academically. There's so much around London for networking and careers, but also just in terms of what you can access. So doing a war studies degree, the Imperial War Museum is about a 15 minute walk from campus, which is ideal. So a typical day at uni starts with me leaving the house with a coffee. I will probably have a 9am lecture, which I surprisingly didn't oversleep for. So I will head to uni, uh, go to my lecture, see my friends, and then if I'm at uni at the day anyway, I have the opportunity to see the GP if I need to, go to student services, um, things like that as well. But apart from that, I will probably head to the library or a study space with my friends to get some work done before having a seminar in the afternoon. And then after my seminar, I'll probably head to one of these student union bars at King's for a drink with friends. King's facilities are really great. You have uh, various different campuses that you can go and study on, which means various different libraries and study spaces. You also have lots of King's cafes, which is always really important to kind of keep you fueled as a student. So you can go and hang out with people in these shared spaces. Or um, if you do have a preference to study at home, you also have different um, opportunities to do so. The people on the course tend to be typically passionate, so even if the lecturer brings up a thought experiment to understand a certain situation, that's completely arbitrary. Um, people will get passionate and suddenly you're in a lecture theatre full of 50, 18 to 20 year olds discussing the ethics of starting a war on Mars. Britain's relationship with Greece was really important during the 19th century, uh, mainly for the British Navy. Um, Greece provided pretty much all of the dried fruit you could get your hands on in Europe which meant that none of your sailors got scurvy during the winter. It's also why we have so much dried fruit in like a Christmas cake, things like that. 